Can we consider HAARP, H-A-A-R-P, as the Dajjal means on controlling the weather? Oh yes, no doubt. The Prophet said that the Dajjal is going to control the weather. It caused the rain to fall and he stopped the rain from falling. And so the Western control over weather today is certainly the fulfillment of that prophecy about Dajjal's control of the weather. But you cannot accept that unless you also accept that Dajjal has been released. <laughs> okay? Modern medical treatment and medicine. That's another hadith, not the one about weather. The other hadith, and you're lucky I can't stop to ask you questions, eh? you're lucky tonight. The other hadith is that Dajjal is going to chop a man in half. You heard it? Yeah. He's going to chop a man in half and then bring him back to life. And when he does that, now do you believe that I am the Lord? <laughs> People will believe, they'll worship him now. And he's Allah, because he can chop a man in half and bring him back to life. But Dajjal is already doing that. And people are already worshipping him instead of Allah. Go to any hospital today, and you see the surgery. Heart transplant, kidney transplant. Tomorrow it might even be brain transplant. Huh? It is equivalent to chopping a man in half and bringing him back to life. And then the shirk. People would say, if you turn off that life support machine, he will die. And the hospital will tell you, he will die because the hospital wants, huh? The hospital, the longer the machine goes on, the more money they make. And you will believe it. How can I turn off the machine? If I do it, he'll die. Well, you dumb dumb, you are now believing that the life and death is in the hands of the machine. <laughs> The machine decides who will live, and the machine decides who will die. <laughs> but, but we Muslims have a different belief from that nonsense. We believe the life and death are in Allah's hands. None can die unless Allah ordains death. None will live unless Allah ordains life. And yet you say, if he didn't have that operation, he would be dead. If we didn't take him to that hospital, he would be dead. If he didn't have this treatment from this doctor, he would be dead. And in the process, you commit shirk. You're worshipping Dajjal without even knowing that you're doing it. <laughs>